hi this is Tabs. welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to have you watch this video today in this video i want to walk you to step by step how to set up an infinity free account and this is the amazing website that i just installed in this video i'll be showing you how i installed this amazing awesome beautiful website for free uh, on a free lifetime hosting on infinity free and also how i got this free domain also from infinity free and how i use infinity free to get free ssl so you can see this green secured padlock that shows that my website is secured and this website will be super fast because we inst we designed this website on gutenberg page builder so this is what the about page looks like and this is super beautiful so if you want to design a website this beautiful you need to follow me through this video let me show you step by step how i design this awesome website without wasting so much time let's get started immediately So we are the official website of Infinity Free, which is infinityfree.net. So you can easily plug that into your browser and get here. And then we hit the sign up now button. So right now we require to provide an email, password, and then we confirm a password. So for my email. So make sure you use a password you can easily remember and then agree to their terms and condition then create a new account the next thing for us to do right now is for us to verify our email so we come to our email here i have a email from infinity free already so i click this and now hit the verify email button and bingo we are already inside our infinity free account so this is exactly how easy it is for us to create an infinity free account so the next thing for us to do right now is for us to create an account inside infinity free i know it sounds very awkward but that's exactly what we need to do so we hit this button for us to create an account we have two options is either we create a subdomain or we use a custom domain name but for the sake of this tutorial i would use a subdomain because i want to get everything for free so i'll do dabs tutorial and my extension i can just do 42web.io let's leave it the way it is so i can search to see that this subdomain is available for use yeah the domain uh appears to be available and that's good uh, you see that uh, user, a username has been created for us, uh, generated automatically, and also for the password as well. So let's confirm that we are not a robot, and then let's create account. So let's let's view our client area. So you can see that the account is active. Uh, uh, this is our username, and this is our password. I can leave that hidden. And you can see our FTP details here. You can see our subdomain details here. And we can see our MySQL uh, details here. You can see our MySQL detail here as well. So these are the new things that Infinity Free is bringing. Uh, everything now looks coherent. Everything uh, is now laid very bare. And you can get ample information at the go. The next thing for us to do is for us to create WordPress. Yes, so for us to be able to create WordPress, we have to go to the control panel. So I would like to open this in a new tab. Okay, so we have an important notice here. So let us approve this. Okay, so this is our control panel loaded. So what we will do is to scroll down. We come to Softaculous App Installer, so we will launch that app. Okay, so uh, we would install WordPress. So this is where we have to choose options for uh, uh, WordPress. So we the version of our WordPress well, version 5.8 is the latest. Uh, this is our URL. Uh, but our protocol here, you would see that 
we have the option to choose HTTP or HTTPS. So let's do HTTPS. Let's see. So let's come back to our dashboard and do we'll see a place here for free SSL certificate. Let's click this. And let's add SSL domain. So let's hit this button, create SSL domain. So your domain has been added. We can now create an order. So let's request SSL certificate. Your certificate has been requested and will be created shortly. But you can see that it is not ready yet. Uh, so the next thing for us to do is for us to update our name servers. So we will come to our control panel here and we will search for CNAME record. So let's click this. And then we can pick our, our destination. Let's copy our destination. So we paste that here. Our domain is good. So let's pick our source. And this is the record name here. And then I paste it here. And then I will add this CNAME record. Fantastic. Our CNAME record has just been added. So let's come back here. So we know that there is a note here that says, please note that DNS changes can take up to 24 hours to take effect. So we we'll have to give this a little bit of time for our certificate to be generated. So let's refresh. Let's see if this is ready yet. Okay, so that's still not ready. And we can keep uh, track with our DNS record by using a site called DNS Checker. So we can use dnschecker.org. We paste it here. And then we do CNAME. And then let's search. So you can see that the CNAME is still propagating. Uh, you can see that a lot of places here uh, is not is not working at all. Uh, so it's still taking time for it to propagate, and this can take a while uh, for it to do. So let's let's give it some time for this uh, propagation to take effect. But in the meantime, we can just install our website on HTTP, and I believe that perhaps before we finish the tutorial. Maybe this will be ready and then we can then add the SSL. Ideally, I would have loved to add the SSL before installing WordPress and all of that. But again, because of time, uh, so let's just go ahead into the tutorial. So let's come back to Softaculous. Uh, so right now, let's just do HTTP and then let's leave our domain. Uh, we can call our website name. I can call it DAF Tutorial. my site description learn wordpress step by step so the next step is for us to set our admin record uh, this is where we put our username and our password uh, please do not use admin as username because that is easy for people to guess and the my site might be vulnerable to attack so i can just do that tutorial so for my password i can hide this so yes, our language should be English. That's good enough. Uh, plugins, no, we are not installing any plugin. Let's leave it the way it is. And also for team, no, we are not installing any team here. So let's hit the install button. So as you can see, uh, WordPress is downloading. Uh, so let's give it time. Let it finish. Bingo, our site just got downloaded. So let's see our WordPress website. Fantastic. So you can see that we have the default WordPress 5.8 installed already on this site. Uh, let's go back and let's go to the admin area of this WordPress. So this is the backend of the WordPress website. So you can see that we have a default WordPress here installed, uh, but this is not good enough. So I'll be showing you how to install a WordPress theme and also plugins for you to have an amazing beautiful website so let's come to appearance 
and let's come to themes we can hit this button here to add new and we can also come here to add new either way is good so we have astra theme here so let's install astra so now let's activate all right we have our team already installed and activated so let's come to plugins let's hit add new so let's go for astra starter so we have this plugin here starter template uh, let's install this plugin okay i'll be activating this plugin all right fantastic we have team and plugin setup so here you can just hit the c library button and then uh, astra will require you to choose your preferred page builder uh, ideally i would have loved to use elementor uh, elementor as far as i'm concerned is the biggest and the most robust page builder in wordpress currently but if i want to choose speed and i want to choose user experience i'd rather go for gutenberg gutenberg is fast developing here we can we have a handful of theme that we can install but i would love to scroll here and come to the free uh checkbox here and then we can switch this to to the free and then every theme we see here is free for us to use so you can scroll down and down and down and look for themes here and there that we can install i think i like this theme here so let's check this theme out this is a fantastic theme so let's install this theme so when we want to install we have two options is that we install uh, the complete site or we install the about page but you can see that this this theme here has one two three four pages so we can also hit this button here for you to preview the website to see if it's something you like or you want to use and then the next thing will be for us to import complete site yes this is where astra is trying to get feedback uh in case you're a beginner intermediate or expert you can let them know and you can tell them if you are building this for yourself or you are building for a client and we can hit the next button uh, you'll be required to provide your first name and your work email but for me i love to skip this path and then we can see that our theme the whole demo content is importing right away so we'll give you some few minutes for this import to finish and then we can check our website so our import is complete so we need to view our site so let's come here and then let's refresh this page so we have this amazing beautiful website already installed free domain free hosting for a lifetime so you can keep using this for as long as possible as you want to uh, so before i end this video i want to show you real quick how you can easily edit this so this website is built with gutenberg so you can guarantee speed so if you come up here you'll see a place for edit page so if you eat this page you will be able to use gutenberg to edit this page all right fantastic so if we close this you would see that this is our page here so if i click this you can see that i can change uh, any of this here okay i can i can change this keep track or uh, reach your fitness goal i can i can change this to uh, eat your financial goal so you can see super easy just click everything you want to and then edit so if i scroll down i can click this and i will have the option for me to edit this just just like we edit uh our default wordpress uh with gutenberg so for the for the button here if i click this if i come here i will be able to uh, put a link and then put the url of the page i want that button to link to and i can also specify if i want this button to open this link in a new tab or i want it to open in in the same tab and once i'm done with that i'll hit this arrow here for that to save 
and that's it that's how to edit a button for me to be able to edit this image here if i come here and i click this you would see that i have this image here i can easily replace this image if i want to and i can change the focus area of this image i can say i can choose where i want this image to focus on but i think where it is is okay and it's just pretty simple and super easy for our logos if we click this you see i can change this image to whatever image i want to change it to so if i want to change this i just come up to the replace uh option here so if i click this i'll choose whether i want to replace uh, with the media library or i want to go to upload to pick a logo or a file from my computer and that's how simple and how easy it is for us to edit this page so the same thing here you can click everything and then you can copy you can delete you can change the text you can click this you can change the image and that's how simple and easy it is for us to edit uh, this page so you can do this for all the pages to edit them into something you're more comfortable with i'm sure you find this super easy for you to do if you have any question about that you can let me know in the comment section below if you have been able to install this demo as your wordpress team and you appreciate this uh you can give me a thumbs up you can drop a comment in the comment section just letting me know that yes you were able to install this team and also giving me a shout out because that's the only way i can get to make other people who would need this video see this video uh for them to be able to design something this good and let's refresh this page so you can see that we already have a private key and a certificate ready even though dns checker is telling us that that has not propagated and this is good so let's come here uh let's come back to our c panel so we'll scroll down till we get a place called ssl and ts tls and if we're here we can configure this and then we'll be required to post our private key and our certificate so let's come here let's so let's copy our private key here and let's put our private key here so let's upload this key so let's copy a certificate as well and then we paste it here and let's upload certificate all right so we have a key and a certificate uploaded so let's come back to our website so right now let's add https to this and let's load this okay fantastic so you can see that our websites now load https with a secured padlock so this is exactly how to install uh, ssl also using infinity free so that's it that's it that's it guys for this video i wouldn't want to take it this long but this is how to create an awesome beautiful website like this in case you want to learn more on how to customize wordpress you need to subscribe to this youtube channel and you can let me know in the comment section below i'll be checking the comment section below to know exactly what next you want to learn inside wordpress what are the things that you want to what customization do you want to learn uh, just let me know in the comment section below i might be making your request my next video and i'll see you in my next video bye for now